The following program is presented by the Diocese of Venice in Florida. The Diocese of Venice in Florida presents the Mass. Jesus Christ is risen today. Oh, this morning, the TV Mass comes to you from St. Thomas More Parish in Sarasota, Florida. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, good morning and welcome to the sixth Sunday of Easter. Jesus promised that the spirit of truth would remain in us. In that spirit of truth, let us give thanks and praise to God. Welcome this sixth Sunday of Easter to St. Thomas More Parish. I'm Father Gordon Zanetti, the pastor. Those of you viewing us in the 10 county diocese, and across the world wide web. Be rest assured of our continued prayers as our Easter journey continues. And it truly has been a great celebration and will continue on. But as we come to this celebration to thank God for the gift of his only begotten son, resurrection, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, a risen savior, you revealed God's love for sinners Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, risen Savior, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, risen Savior, you rose from the dead for salvation. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. On earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Grant, Almighty God, that we celebrate with a heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that we will relive in, relive in remembrance and we always hold on what we are to do through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip, when they heard it and they saw the signs that he was doing, for the unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now, there when, now when the apostles were in Jerusalem, heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them, that they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out and joy to the Lord. Tremendous your deeds for us, the 
The second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as the Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks for a reason of hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame the good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that will be the will of God, than doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, for the righteousness of the sake of the unrighteous, that he may lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. For the Spirit of truth, who the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him, but you know him because he remains with you, and I will be in you. I will not leave you like orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Welcome. And whomever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Again, my brothers and sisters, welcome to St. Thomas More Parish as we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter. I will ask the Father and he will give another advocate. We've been on a most special journey these last six weeks in the, celebrating the joys of Easter. But it is time for the Lord to send us another as we prepare for his ascension and then the gift of Pentecost. In this journey, the gifts and the graces that the Lord bestows upon us especially the gift of the Spirit that moves us, drives us to make sure again, as we're journeying with the Lord, we're not only doing it, but it by word, which is very important, praying, discerning the gospel, spending time with the saints also in their lives, but putting these words into action. In this Easter journey that we've been on, We've not put our pastoral responsibilities on hold. Yes, throughout the world and our country, we've gone through a very, and still are, a very difficult virus. But again, praying for our brothers and sisters in Christ, reaching out to them in a way those in, the funeral, in nursing homes, maybe someone that's in a correctional institution, prison, maybe a next-door neighbor that at times we don't often get along with, or what about an estranged family member that we've not spoken to in a while? Different individuals we can reach out 
And remember, the Lord puts those in front of us to make sure, again, we, with our relationship with him, is improving his relationship with them also by our example. So remember the word indeed as we await the advocate. Yes, so pastoral responsibilities over this Easter journey have in some part ways have been curtailed, but prayer, the spiritual communion, as we come joyfully at a most special moment to the Lord's table, to be nourished and sustained, to make sure we're living out the commitments entrusted to us by our Lord. And again, as mentioned in the gospel, we might not see him or can physically touch him in our pastoral ministries. He's there with us. And again, like the Holy Spirit, initiating, driving us, moving us to reach out to those. So again, we're not just doing things by word, but living out our deeds, our gifts and graces that we're passing on to whomever the Lord puts in front of us. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for all men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who from the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life to the world to come. Amen. With faith in his loving mercy, we call upon the Lord who truly hears our needs and responds to us with his great love. For Pope Francis, Bishop Duane, all the bishops, priests, and clergy, may God be their strength in times of difficulty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For governments and world leaders, that they be given the strength and courage to enact policies for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of the coronavirus, the medical staff tasked with their treatment and care, and those suffering isolation and anxiety due to quarantine, may God protect and comfort them and grant them swift recovery of the sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who devote their lives to public service, may God protect and strengthen them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to be aware of your steadfast love. We thank you for hearing these humble prayers we bring to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty, who would walk through these hands, wash and cleanse me of my iniquities to celebrate these sacred mysteries. And may the prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with these sacrificial offerings, so that purified with graciousness, we're conformed to the sacred mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just in our duty and our salvation all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this holy season, above all, to laud you more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. And by rising, he has restored us to a new life. Therefore, we're overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, on the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed us to reconcile us to yourself and grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son are filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, and that we obtain the inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, the holy martyrs, and with all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely on for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, 
and the orders of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people your son has gained for his own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the families you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To all of our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at the passing of their lives, give them kind admittance into your kingdom, and there we hope to enjoy the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth that it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity that's in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins in this world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Let us pray. 
Almighty and ever-living God, you restore us to eternal life in the resurrected Christ. Increase us, we pray, the fruits of this paschal sacrifice and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God continue to bless and watch over us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Sing with all the saints in glory. Sing a resurrection song. Death and sorrow a stark story to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking. Soon the storms of time Remaining connected to the church and your local parish is critical during the coronavirus pandemic. Please consider a donation to this televised Mass or to your local parish by visiting dioceseofvenice.org slash ways to give. Your contribution may also be sent to the Diocese of Venice at 1000 Pinebrook Road, Venice, Florida, 34285. And you can view this Mass anytime on the Diocese of Venice website Visit dioceseofvenice.org and click on the Televised Mass button. As they turn.